continue on example 22, write the equation of the ellipse that has vertices at this coordinate and this one and for psi at this coordinate. As you look at here, we have the y coordinate here for the vertices and the for psi is the same value. So it means the vertices is the major one because it's the same value at y vertices. So they are on the same as this so the this one is the major vertex and then uh, if you look at closer uh, this one will represent the value of k which is on the y coordinate okay and then we know that because the vertice is either h plus minus a or h plus minus b because it's on the x coordinate, it will be h plus minus a. So it's the compared to these two, this is the uh, minimum value. So it's h minus a, and this one will be h minus plus a. And the first side, we know it plus minus c. So this one will h minus c. This one is h plus c. So we find the value of a first. So h minus a equal to negative three c h plus a equal to 7 we solve it simultaneously so h equal to negative 3 plus a substitute here so you have negative 3 plus a plus a equal to 7 so you have 2 a and here 10 so you got a is equal to 5 so you can find the value of h which is negative 3 plus 5 you got 2 so no, you know that h is 2 Next, you are going to find what is the uh, value of C. Because at this phase, you already get the info. The center is HK. H is 2 and K is negative 5 here. Next, C. Why we need to find the C? Because we need to find the B. And because we only have information on C. Mm, okay, so H plus c equal to 5 h we know already is 2 we just find c so c is 3 as you can see here this is the major vertex the x coordinate so that means it's the vertical uh, it's the horizontal ellipse so the a must be greater than b so we are going to use the formula a squared minus b squared because the fossa and the this is on the same as this. Okay, so the a is 5, so it's square, is 5 squared. So c is 3, so 3 squared will be 3 squared. So b is 5 squared minus 3 squared. So you end up got 4. Oh no, this is the b squared. Okay, here is b. Because b is represented for the length, so that's why you choose the plus only. So the answer is 4. So now we got a, we got b, we can create the equation. So x minus h has the formula of uh, a squared. So it will be 5 squared plus y minus negative 5 for the k bracket squared over b squared so for must be equal to 1 so equation of the ellipse simplified you got 25 for this one and this one y plus 5 over 16 that's the equations of the ellipse they continue on example 23 find the equation of the ellipse with vertices this one there's only over text Oh, what this is this one and this one and the center okay so basically we have vertices is eight five and we have ten one two of the vertices and the center okay so as you can see here uh, the center is eight so here is 8 so we can conclude h is, this is the value of h 
So it's here. When it's h here, so that means it's k plus minus b here. Okay. So we know that h is 8, but here it's not 8. So obviously, it will be h plus minus k. And this will be k. So we know that k is 1. So now we have center will be 8. And so we need to find the value of 8. So h because the h is 8 but here is 10 so it should be h plus a as 10 and h is 8 okay so you have a equal to 2 and your k is 1 and you know it's 5 so a k plus b equal to 5 so 1 plus b equal to 5 your b will be equal to 4 so enough you need a, b, and center for the equations of the ellipse. So x minus 8 for the center over a is 2 squared. And 1 minus 1 squared formula. And b squared. 4 squared. It could be 1. And final one. This one. And that's the equations of the ellipse for this equation.